Hey, how you doing today? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video, we will discuss the five rules that highly successful traders use on a daily basis to create consistent profitability. All right, so I've been in the markets now for about four years, and I've studied famous uh, professional traders such as Jesse Livermore, Paul Tudor Jones, um, Richard Dennis, traders like that, that have... Uh, created massive wealth within the markets. And I've also studied traders like myself here on YouTube that have created videos. And um, yeah, so I, I've kind of formulated a few things that I've noticed that the successful traders do on a daily basis within their trading, uh, within their strategy, um, their mindset, and even outside of trading. All right, so um, yeah, let's get right into this. Rule number one always use a trading plan. So I don't know what you've heard up to this point about a trading plan. Um, basically, all you need to know is you need to have a set of rules in place before entering your trade. You do not need to use the same system over and over and over. You can use different patterns. There are plenty of different patterns such as these here. You can use whatever one you want it doesn't matter as long as you've tested it, you know how to trade it and you know you will be successful more times than not when trading that. As long as you see a setup and you know how to trade it, you can trade it. But as long as you have a reason for that entry and you have a plan in place to get in and to get out, you are fine. You do not need to trade only double tops, only double bottoms. You do not do not need to trade just head and shoulder patterns. You can trade whatever you want. You can trade candlestick patterns. It doesn't matter. There are many, many different candlestick patterns that can get you into the trade. There's a lot of different strategies. You do not need a single one. As long as you have a entry reason, an exit, and you have a stop loss in place. All right? So that's rule number one. Rule number two is always always protect your capital. That is the probably one of the more important rules in trading because if you are not protecting your money, it will disappear on you. I can promise you that. I've been there. I'm sure many of you have been there. And a lot of the successful traders that are now profitable have been there in the past while they were learning. But Capital preservation is very, very important. So always have a risk management plan in place before entering the trade. You will take losses. That is guaranteed. No system you trade, no pattern is 100% accurate all the time. So get comfortable with taking losses. As long as you come out on top in the end over a longer data set and multiple trades, you will be okay. But if you are risking more or you're moving stop losses or things like that, and you're playing around with your risk management, <laughs> the odds are you will not come out on top in the end. All right. So always have your risk management plan in place when you are entering a trade. When you're using proper risk management, it'll help keep your mindset in check because you know that you're not risking too much on this trade, you know that um, the odds are in your favor. Let's say you got a three to one risk to reward. So that means you can lose two out of three of those trades and you'll still be breaking even, right? So this will help keep your mindset in check and help keep your emotions down while trading, all right? But if you're playing with that all the time and you're moving stop losses, your mindset is never gonna be right. And you're always going to be worried about your trade because you're, you don't know if your system is actually going to make you money in the long run. So you're going to be worried. It's, it's just a fact. All right. And finally, with protecting your capital, you need to know exactly how much you're losing on each trade. Whether you're comfortable with 1%, 2%, 3%, that's all dependent on your risk tolerance but you need to be comfortable with the amount you are risking. If you are not comfortable with it, you may get in your own way 
you may exit the trade, you may move stop losses, you may, you're going to mess up your trade 100%. You will do something to sabotage that trade because you are not comfortable with it. This is something that Mark Douglas talks about a lot. Um, you know, he, he is the master of trading psychology. He's written books like Trading, uh, trading in the Zone, The Discipline, Discipline Trader. Um, but yes, you need to be comfortable with the amount you are risking. If you are not, you will. And I can almost guarantee you will get in your own way when trading and you will mess up your plan because you're not comfortable. You're, you're going to always be on edge if you're risking too much than you are comfortable with losing. And you need to accept that there are losses in trading. You need to accept that. Rule number three, treat trading as a business. You need to treat it as a business and not as a job or a hobby. All right. Treating trading as if it's a job, you know, you might become frustrated and it might not feel as if you're actually enjoying your time because it's something you have to get up and do in the morning. And it's not something you really want to do. And it becomes more burdensome. And also when you're treating it as a hobby, it's more of something you do in your spare time, you're not really taking it too serious. And you aren't putting the work in that needs to be done to actually become profitable while trading, right? It uh, you, you do, you're not committed 100% to your business. But if it is treated as a business, you know, you're going to put your, your time in and your effort to make sure that business becomes successful, right? So yeah, trading is a business. And if you actually look at it, uh, what I mean by that is you will have income, you will have expenses, and then left over, you will have your net profit. So there was a post I seen on Instagram uh, by Akil Stokes. He posted something that showed exactly what I just stated. You will have your income, you will have your expenses, left over, you will have your profit. And I mean, you can look at this daily, you can look at this weekly, you can look at it monthly, yearly, it's all up to you. However, just know that trading, you will incur expenses, you know, you will have losses, you have to pay taxes, there's a lot of uncertainty. Um, there will be stress, of course, and of course, the risk there, there's always going to be the risk in in any business that you get into. So trading is no different. All right. And you need to accept all those facts factors when getting into this business. All right. Um, but you need to be committed to your business as well. You need to do your research, you need to strategize, you need to put the time in to stay ahead of your competition to remain profitable within this business sector and to maximize your business's growth. All right. So yeah, just make sure you treat trading as a business because it is, it's not a job. It's not a hobby. It's not just something you do in your spare time. I mean, it can be something you do in your spare time, but you still need to treat it as if it's a business. If you're doing it part time, it's still your side business. All right. Don't treat it anything differently than that. All right. Rule number four, become a student of the markets. All right. So this one here, you're going to have to continuously learn and get comfortable with always learning what is happening in the markets, new things that you may not have picked up on yet. Um, you can learn commitment of traders reports. You can learn technical analysis, different factors due to fundamental analysis. You can learn what's going on in the world, which may affect your trade. If you're trading stocks, learn about the businesses, learn about the competition. Like there's always something you can learn. And it's a nonstop process because things are always changing. You know, markets do not stay the same. Although history does somewhat repeat itself in the market based on technical analysis, the factors that create those reactions are, they're, they're different. All right. So you got to continuously learn and uh, put the time in to do that. All right. So humble yourself and realize that you do not know everything. You will never know everything, but as long as you humble yourself and you know that you need to put some work in and continuously, you know, pick up a book, watch a YouTube video, 
know, anything like that, that will help you gain some knowledge about the markets, about what's going on and what's causing the markets to move. All right. You will come out on top. All right. There are plenty of books. Money is printed in those books. I can promise you that. If you are looking for knowledge and how to trade, there are tons of books that will help give you some insight, little tips and tricks that will get you to that next level in your trading. All right. So do not be afraid of knowledge. Do not be afraid to pick up a book and uh, spend a little time. Even if you pick up an audio audio book, um, I have an Audible account as well. So if I don't have time to sit down and read a book, or if I'm just in my car, instead of putting on some music, I'll put on an Audible book. All right. So there's there's different ways to get around it. If you're busy, you could still learn about the markets. All right. You can listen to podcasts. There, there's so many different things you can do, but always become a student of the markets and you know you will never master it no one will 100 percent be right all the time in the markets all right and you will not know everything that is going on in the markets but like i said continue to learn finally rule number five keep trading in perspective this is one that a lot of new traders fail to do all right, they come into trading thinking they're going to get rich quick. I know I did. I know you probably did too. However, that is not the case. There are the odd ones. I'm not going to say it doesn't happen. There will be the odd trader that comes in and just makes a fortune right away. They just somehow understand the markets and, you know, maybe maybe they got a little bit of luck on their side, but for most of us, that is not going to happen. You got to keep it in perspective and, you know, think long term. This is not a get rich quick scheme. Like we discussed, it is a business that you will be running over the long term. You want to stay on top of it. You want to, you know, make sure you're planning and doing the things for many years to come. You don't want to, you know, do this for, a year or two, and then you think you're going to retire, right? You want to keep your business running for many, many years to come. All right. So make sure you treat it that way. Um, you need to set realistic goals based on your income needs. All right. So whatever your income need is right now, set goals based on that. If you have a full time job right now, currently, and you're just looking to make a little bit of extra income, you don't need to go crazy and bet the farm on each trade. All right, you don't need to do that. Set realistic goals. How much do you want to make every month? Try not to really set daily goals because that puts too much pressure on you. But you know, at the end of the month, you want to make $1,000, you want to make $2,000. What do you want to make? And also base it on the amount you have in your account as well, right? So percentage wise, what do you want to make every month extra? You know, just so at the end of the year, maybe you could take a trip, maybe you can, you know, put it aside, maybe you just want to keep growing your account and do this full time eventually. But set realistic goals. And uh, yeah, work towards that. All right. Another thing to do with keeping trading in perspective is you can't be too hard on yourself. All right, losses happen. Do not get down on yourself. Just keep going. As long as you come out on top at the end, that's all that matters, right? Like we discussed, if you're doing a three to one risk to reward, if you lose two trades, you're, you're fine because your third one, you know, you're going to make all that back plus some, all right? So don't be too hard on yourself. Accept uh, the risks within trading and accept that losses happen. You know, don't don't get down on yourself. Just just keep going. And uh, as long as you stick to your plan, you will be fine. All right. Do not let your emotions get the best of you because that's when mistakes happen. All right. And finally, the last tip in keeping trading in perspective, realize that trading like anything takes time. If you are not profitable right now, do not worry about it. Do not get down on yourself. Think about it. 
if you were to go to college to study anything, doesn't even matter. Let's say you want to get your bachelor's in any field. How long will you be spending in college before you're making money? Likely four years. All right. So why would trading be any different? You need to spend time learning the markets and getting better at it before you make real money. Yeah, you might make a little bit of money here. You might make a little bit of money there. You might lose a little bit of money, but it's all the learning process. All right. A bachelor's degree takes four years before you get a job within that field. And that is for a reason. All right. They want you to come out of that school and know the business that you're getting into. So why would trading be any different? You need to treat it as such. All right. If you're getting into this business, know that, yeah, there's the odd few that will be good right from the start and they just understand it somehow. But for most of us, we will need to put the time in. We will need to practice. We will need to learn different strategies, find one that suits us and uh, go from there. All right. And eventually, if we put the time in, we put the effort and we really try to learn this business, we will end up being profitable in the end, but it will take time. All right, so that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it, hope you learned something. Uh, hope some of these tips will help you become profitable in the markets and uh, maybe you've just been a little bit hard on yourself recently about trading. Hopefully a couple of things I mentioned here will ease a little bit of that stress and uh, you know get, get you over that little hump that you've been uh, stuck on, right? All right, so if you enjoyed this video, remember to hit that thumbs up button. Also, if you haven't already, remember to hit that subscribe button and that bell for notifications on new videos coming out. Uh, we will be going over many different things on this channel. So um, yeah, hope uh, I see you in the next one and uh, have yourself a good week. Trade green and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.